Hi, good afternoon guys. Today we are at the Mole National Park located here in the Savannah region and we are going to take a tour inside. Please stay tuned and enjoy this video. Anyway, you've this is got, the Savannah region. And you've got to tell your friends to subscribe to this channel. Yes, this subscribe girl. for more videos like this, okay? You've got, you've so, got me featured. So. We've already paid for fee and we've paid for... Yeah, so we are, we are going to go inside right now. So guys, when you come, you have to sign in first. You have to sign in and then pay your entrance fee. So I'll send. You, I'll post the prices here for you. So um, guys, we are still on our way. We are. We are still on our way uh, into the park first. That was just the entrance, and from the entrance to the park, I think it's like. A little bit between five to ten minutes drive. Okay, so uh, we are on our way into the park right now. Yeah. <laughs> because we had a student discount so we are now going to move on our safari of the I'm going to be your guide okay. Welcome to Ghana's first largest wildlife reserve the Moli National Park This park covers an area of 4,577 square kilometer of fairly undisturbed Guinea Savanna in the northern part of Ghana this is just one of the seven national parks here located in Ghana. This park is rich in biodiversity and home to 742 vascular plant species, over 90 mammal species including 5 primate species of which species of conservation and tourist interest include elephant, buffalo cob, western heartbeat, antelope, the fasa waterback, oribi, boho reedback and red flanged duca. There are also rare and endangered species which include the yellow backed duca, black and white colobus monkey, leopard and lion. Now I understand why they say it weighs like it weighs more than a, a double decker bus. As of 2005, there were about 600 elephants in this reserve. You can't get these animals, but these are the animals. These are the three elephants. Park has the most viable elephant population in Ghana and as such it's a hotspot for elephant conservation. It's also said that the park has a unique breed of elephants which are not hostile, not aggressive or insecure compared to other elephant populations in the rest of Africa. The female ones, they don't come closer here. Mm -hmm. Only the male ones, but... Oh, yeah. 
65 to 70 years. In the ears are big. The ears are big, Papa. The bush right. Bunk, bunk. Who's bunk? Uh, oh, it's not. It's not inside. It's still hiding. Yeah, yeah. 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 So oh, it's not my chance that you may be going and chancing up there. So it's possible you can go on safari and you won't meet any animals. Ah, but you, you won't see animals. Is it Isn't that one that you just saw? Uh, just uh, That's an oh, antelope. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Ouch. I didn't get you. I ran into you. Come back. Okay, so there's water everywhere, it's been raining so much. There's water everywhere, so hmm. if I slip and fall. Yeah, I'm the 
finished our one hour one hour one hour safari ride and I would just say that for me like I mean it was exciting it was new like seeing animals um, animals the elephants because I never knew elephants were that big I mean I see them in on TV and like they don't look that big but then um, eh, I wouldn't really say we saw lots of animals and it's like the most expensive uh, most expensive national park in Ghana honestly I think it's the most expensive but anyway yeah so we'll be going to our next location soon which is the Larabanga we're going to see the Larabanga mosque and the mystic stone okay so let's go